Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Smooth Magic. This is your home for all the chillest booster box openings on YouTube. Today we're taking a look at another one of these little gems of a pack. The Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Boxes. If we can get it open, there it is. Nice and snug. Pulling that out of the little protective wrapping there. And a couple more things to just remove from the protective wrapping. We've got those, uh, of course, non-foil box stoppers. And the packs themselves, which um, have the potential to have the foil version of the box stoppers. Let's get cracking into this right away. And see what we can pull. Try to get these all on camera there. That'll do. Start off with Island. And a Forsaken Monument. Nice pull. A Mythic on the very first uh, pack. Crawling Barons for number two. Actually, let's stick that right over there. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I guess I should swap these here, as I usually do. Alright, and then uh, Valcut Exploration. We haven't seen that in a while, I feel, so... Uh, do for a comeback in the undoing version. We're closing out pack number one. Okay. I get that. There we go. That's almost... I guess we can use the rest of our real estate here. It's always, um... It's always kind of a challenge to get everything on camera, to line up with what I see on camera and what I see outside of the camera. Alright, moving on to pack number two. There's our planes. Zareth Sand, the trickster. And the Archpriest of Iona. Next to the showcase, and then we got Crag Crown Path, Crag Crown Pathway. That one's always, no oh, one always trips me up. I'm trying to pronounce that one. That one's a tricky one. And a windswept heath. All right, that is an amazing pull right there. That's a great. So two mythics, two packs, two mythics and two packs. That's uh, looking up pretty fantastic, I'd say. Got to really keep this momentum up. Now, I have definitely seen situations where the first, uh, you know, first half of the box is absolutely loaded. And you go into the second half thinking nothing can throw you off your game, and sure enough, they're all duds. The Roiling Vertex, a Glass Pool Mimic, and a Phyleth World Sculptor. The Relic Robber coming in here to sort of rob us from another mythic. Oh. Yeah, now that we've got the hang of this, I do feel like we're tearing through these, which is great. Kind of get in, get out, and keep your expeditions, move on to the next video, right? Maddening Cacophony. A Nahiri. Heir of the Ancients. I'm still very confused about like what is going on in the artwork. I think she's climbing out of a a, a volcano of sorts. A nice mythic there, mythic number three. The Mall of the Skyclaves. Swamp. It'll let us know good stuff is coming up here. The Luminarch Aspirant or Aspirant. Tajuro Paragon. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really don't like the card. Skyclave Shade. 
I am a maddening cacophony. This is pack number six of our 12 pack box. After this, you know, you know the drill. You've seen these before. Hopefully, if you haven't seen these before, look around some of my other videos. We've got lots of content there for you. But yeah, after pack number six, we uh, open up one of the box to toppers. Uh, this time we pulled a Turn Timber Symbiosis, which can flip on over to a Turn Timber Serpentine Wood. Nice little mythic there. A branch Loft Pathway. Alright, now we got the Mammoth. And a Variant Catacombs Amazing amazing so we got two of the heavy hitters there the windswept wreath and the verdant catacombs right there all right these are great expedition poles let's keep this train rolling let's see what we can pick up here a oh, celestial colonnade I think this is one of the uh, lower end ones. Yeah, so we've only got one Cavern of Souls so far. I'd love to see another one of those, even if it's in the uh, the non-foil versions. Just you know, I love the artwork, love the value of it as well. That's a that's a good day there for you. The Crag Plate Bowl. I remember the first six packs were pretty good. I was just going to say, don't expect a strong next six packs, but this one is a strong, strong pull. Ancient Greenworn. It's just a normal foil, but it's still worth uh, its its weight in dollar bills. <laughs> Ease Swarm. And a Nighthawk Scavenger. Forest. That's the Royal Chaser. Violent. Couple no names. The Lotus Cobra. Still a solid card. Solid value. Angel of Destiny. Oh, I love this card. Again, I've recounted the the tale of my drafts where you pull this, and this is a nice bomb. Coming up here, we got, uh, oh, jeez, man, we are getting mythic after mythic. Absolutely love this. Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Great. I'm loving this mythic pull rate on this pack. This one's been very generous to us. The clear water pathway. The old squad commander here. All right. Three packs remaining. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed your time here in Smooth Magic with us all. If you want to see more of our content, think about hitting that subscribe button down below. And heck, if you uh, enjoyed the video, you can even uh, smash the like on that one. <laughs> smash the like while I found it. sound like a... Uh... Well, I'm not going to go there, but... Um, but it really does help, though, getting those uh, those extra notifications. Kind of helps uh, put a smile on my face. Like, all right, so I'm going to enjoy some calm, relaxing magic. And I'm definitely here to help provide that for you all. Mountain Divider. We got an Archon of Amaria. Soul Shatter Foil. 
We got another mythic here, Morag, Fury of Akum. Akum Hellhound and a Crawling Baron. Okay. Last pack before we hit that, uh, that little box stopper. We've enjoyed having you with us today. Hope you stop in again for some smooth magic. It's always a nice relaxing time to be here and just kind of have fun with you all. I love the music as well. Kind of puts me at ease. Sometimes things don't go your way in these packs and you need a little something to kind of calm you down a little bit. Or uh, Skyclave, Hierophant. The Branchloft Pathway. And on the close we got an Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant. Nothing going on there. Let's hope that this one's a nice big heavy hitter. Let's see what, how we do. And we've got... I think this is a good one. Yep, the Wooded Foothills. Just kind of quickly looking at this, I feel like this is abnormally large for the Mythic count. What have we got here? Eleven Mythics? This is not bad. Two of them are kind of guaranteed with the uh, the box topper there. So there you have it, folks. A very strong box opening here. Eleven Mythics. Um, couldn't be happier here. So, uh, as always, I'm going to close up this video by wishing you all to have a smooth day.